Hello community! Finally it is happening! We go with our autoregressive transformer, where we do just a predict of the next token. Now we can predict a local sequence. So let's have a look at the performance of this new transform architecture. And here are the simple formulas to minimize your cross entropy loss of a multi token prediction task. With next token prediction hats, you do a factorization of the multi token prediction cross entropy loss, and you are good to go. You can code this and you have your new transformer model. If you want to see here the publication, at the end of April 2024 from two French universities and FAIR at Meta. Now, however, I got an email from a girl and she told me, hey, in my school, they do not teach AI. So can you explain this? And I suddenly feel here the burden of giving you a simple explanation of something that is expressed mathematically, but I will try. So imagine what we have. We have a string of text, a sentence. And the first, the sentence starts with, hey, in the morning I enjoy air. And now our large language model will predict the next token. Now the next word in the sentence is topfungulaje, in a Viennese patisserie. But the token is two. So now our autoregressive LLM transformer says, in the next morning I enjoy a two. And then we go on. And we have, for example, a probability of 86%. And you get the idea. Next thing now, we go to the two and fun. And you see how we slide along and we predict the next token in a logical sequence. This is where we do today our autoregressive next single token prediction. Now imagine if we predict now the next four tokens. This is rather easy, because you say do not go for one token, but go for a sequence of four tokens. Calculate the probability and the winner takes it all. Now, you know, Topfen Gorhatsche is one word, but Topfen means something, an ingredient that can have different characteristics. You do not only have Topfen Gorhatsche, but you have Topfen Schnitte or Topfen Strudel, so there are now a lot of possible probabilities that the system might calculate. Therefore, the overall probability for this four token word in our example will go down. So the idea was now, what can we do to improve this? And the idea that in this paper is presented to you is simple. At the end here of our sentence, they add multiple head. And you know, we have here the multi query attention mechanism. So, head one to four heads in addition here to our trunk is not that complicated. And the idea is now hey, wait a minute. We can now do here a parallel operation. So, we predict here from the head one. We go here for the next, directly the next token. Head 2 ignores the next token and goes for the second next token. Head 3, the third next token. And you get the idea. If we do this in parallel, well, then we have some probabilities, they depend. But you know, this is now something that in my example here of Topfungulatsche, it is beautiful because here the tokens form one word. But the situation can be much more complicated. But the idea is we have multiple heads that do multiple parallel mathematical operation at the same time and thereby reduce here the amount of compute that we need. Because we have now a parallel operation, so it is even faster. And you might say, how is this possible that the head know exactly what to do? Well, it is again, AI is just a pattern recognition system. So this is exactly the way the system is trained, pre-trained, fine-tuned. This is the data set you give to your new LLM with these two or four heads, whatever you have. So the system learns this behavior and does not know anything else. 
So you see, and then it just replicate during the inference run. Now the beauty is here, because we have a parallelization, if we use four token prediction mechanisms here on our transform architecture, it is three times faster, given the time, at an inference. Now this is something beautiful, so we have superior speed with this. So we move now from a single token prediction in an autoregressive transform architecture here to a multi-token prediction with multiple parallel output heads, parallel processing, enhancing here computational efficiency. But it takes a lot of training and a lot of optimization. And this is now not the first study to go to a multi-token prediction, but it is the latest, just published yesterday for me recording this video. And I want to show you this because the idea is here we can now go for local patterns and improve our reasoning capabilities. Because we do not predict the next token, which might be a part of a herd. But we predict here more complex pattern, four token patterns, that is learning to predict several future states concurrently. There is the hope we move to a better reasoning capabilities of our LLMs. And I look here at the study, and in the summary, you see, hey, we train different large language model from 300 million to 13 billion free trainable parameters, evaluate here this with different benchmarks, and we achieve up to 12% better performance. And when I read this here in the summary, I get interesting in this study and said, hey, wow, 12% better performance is something I'm interested in. Now, however, be careful, because if you go to paragraph 3.5, and this is a screenshot of the original study, and they say, hey, training for multiple epochs, and I train every LLM when I do here fine tuning on multiple epochs, they say, hey, this multiple token training that we present in our study still maintains an edge over the classical next token prediction, when trained on multiple ETOPs of the same data. And this is standard. And they say this improvements here from the multi-token training diminish now if we do multiple epochs, but we still have a 2.4% increase and a 3.2% increase on specific benchmarks while having similar performance for the rest. So suddenly the 12% are diminishing if we do multiple epoch training, which everybody does, I suppose, uh, go down to 2% or maybe 3%. Okay. And then it turns out that this is not for the natural language, but this is particular for code. If I take now here, and they have a beautiful documentation, so the authors are absolutely precise and transparent. It just takes some time to get used to those 30 pages. So if you look here at example of a text summarization, and now we are not code, but we are natural language. And you think, wow, so n equal one, this is the classical one. And then if you have a two hat in blue or a four hat in this kind of green, you see the performance goes up. However, I mean, 500 billion training tokens is nice. If you look now at the absolute performance, the classical is at 27.1 for this particular benchmark, and we go up to 27.4. So sometimes a graph like display can be a little bit deceiving, you know? So always good to look here at the absolute values and you see the performance is, is there, yes, but not as yeah published here in the very first summary. Plus, again, I focus here on the multi-token prediction on a natural language. I suppose they focused here on the um, English language. Now, have a look at this. Again, we have one, the classical one, and then we have two and four multi-token prediction. Now, you see that the line with the four-head multi-token prediction, it's a little bit down, so it's not as good. Now, this dashed blue line is sometimes a little bit better, sometimes, yeah, okay, so I would say, okay, but look at here, this, whatever this color is, ochre or whatever, this is 
maybe in the end it is even better. So, hmm, you would say, okay, so what is the benefit of this new methodology? And they write in their figure five text that the multi-token training with a 7 billion free trainable parameter LLM does not improve the performance here on the natural language tasks. So if you have a Mistral 7B or any other model, if you would add your hats for a multi-token prediction, the authors of the study said, hey, it does not improve the performance. So with this insight now, I saw the study now in a little different light. And then if you go in the annex, and there's a beautiful technical annex that is gorgeous, have a look at this. They give you additional data on multi-token prediction on the natural language, figure S12 to show you here, different benchmarks. If you don't know them, never mind. Do the different benchmarks and they test different things, but have a look here. In general, you see, if you go now to a two token, multi-token system or a four multi-token prediction, the performance does not increase. And they tell us, hey, multi-token training with a 7B model doesn't improve performance here on the task, even with those other benchmark data. So this is not specific to one benchmark, but if you have multiple benchmark, this is a system characteristic. And they say, you know, but larger model sizes might be necessary to see improvements on these natural language tasks. And they say, well, you know, I mean, okay, so maybe we need larger models. Okay. And then I give you here the conclusion from the authors and they say, hey, we proposed multi-token prediction as an improvement over the next token prediction for reasoning task, and this is why I'm interested. And they say our experiments up to 7 billion and 1 trillion tokens show that this is increasingly useful for larger models. <sighs> increasingly useful for larger models. Okay, they say it's not working with the 7B on natural language. It is working with code on particular particular structures up to 12%, but I would say hmm, maybe a little bit more research is definitely necessary before we will use this code implementation for our models. And at the current time, I would not recommend that you try to implement this code to increase your performance, especially if you're working around the 7 billion large language model for natural language tasks. However, please note, with the speculative decoding, the inference gets faster. But I would say we are still at the beginning of research here for this particular multi-token prediction system. And I, the authors were very transparent and they said, you know what? All this training for to implement our idea we at Meta, we spent 500,000 GPU hours on an A180 gigabyte on an H100 NVIDIA GPU. Half a million of GPU hours. For this particular result of research is, it is quite hardware intense. And you see what, what could have been possible with half a million of GPU hours otherwise. But research is pushing ahead and we want to go from a next token prediction to a multi-token prediction. However, this study has some really nice appendix. I'm currently reading appendix L. This multi-token prediction, they have some very nice mathematics. If you want to have a look at this, I currently would recommend definitely the, the mathematical annex to have a look to get acquainted here to the ideas that they have when they implemented this. But otherwise, for a code implementation, I would recommend wait for the next research result here for a multi-token prediction that is implemented in an autoregressive transform architecture. 
This is it. I hope it was a little bit interesting. You found it useful. And hey, I, I, also, I am amazed that they do not teach artificial intelligence in your school. But I hope that here YouTube, the YouTube channels here and all my other colleagues here that inform here about artificial intelligence, the new research results will help you out. And it is great to see the next generation already interested in artificial intelligence. Would be great to see you in my next video.